Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Iken and we're going to kick off right where we left off. It is episode number 10. We still only have two death under our belt, which for a Supreme Jerk blind uh, playthrough difficulty is, I suppose, quite good. Uh, we find ourselves in this uh, treacherous environment where we're being continuously bombarded by these spiders so let's hope uh, this is going to slow down a little bit got ourselves some loot and yeah we're not yet near any level up okay so let's move up and uh, hope uh, that just like hey, Gurren said not like bad. Okay, fantastic. So, there's a generator here. If we sneak our way through it, uh, we might be good. Good, got the sneaking over here. Murphy gets into position. We're putting Ramos into position here. Okay, careful. Quan would need to... Oh, we don't have lockpicking. Holy, that is bad. You're ready for some live targets now. Well, we do have lockpicking on Ramos. Fair enough. Hogbite uh, crouches down here. Lucia gets to here. And Central gets to there. Alright, so now Quan. Damn, Cabron. How many bullets you got in that thing? You had a shoot. Uh, I can't really sneak by. Shoot the pins, Not without a problem. Concentrate Murphy starts it by just taking one down. And we're in the middle of a big fat firefight. Juan has one main job, which is disable the sentry. Fabulous. Then he goes for some big cover over here. I like it. Ramos. Uh, there's a nitrogen tank. That's not bad either. Uh, if we were to shoot a bat. That's a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Lovely. Trick shot. Unfortunately, there is still cover in the way. So this guy is frozen. This guy appears uh, frozen. That's good. Central does have a precision strike. And I think what we're going to do is just damage the legs, right? Massive reduction of combat speed. Deals 50% damage. Oh, that's with a crit, okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll take a hit chance reduction. Good, these guys have come in at 400 hit points, so... Yeah. If we rally people... Oh, nice. That's not bad. Good. That allows everyone here to uh, to take more shots. Good. That guy is down. Which brings us to Murphy. 
We need a good place for Murphy to position themselves. We could move all the way to here. I think that's a good uh, idea. Hogbite is just going to take some cover. Starts hitting that guy and then uh, begins to defend and take cover. Lucia, what are we going to do with you? No further explosives, nothing. We could just go for the for that guy here. We could also move over here, which I think is a great idea. Shrink grenade for minus 30% damage. Just crowd controlling them a little bit. They get evasion, but that really doesn't matter too much. Okay, cool. Murphy, unfortunately can't get to here, but we can get all the way back, just getting out of their range. <clears throat> oh, look at you, smoke grenade, trying to be all clever. Doesn't really serve you well because our pets are already on the prowl. Where, by the way, uh, is the robotic chicken? We didn't lose that, right? Did we? Great. That's good. Flame tank. Uh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, if if this guy blows up, then let's make sure Central is not standing right next to him. Moving to a different point of cover. All right, now we can shoot the flame tank. Okay, didn't work. Got a lot of hits uh, in, unfortunately not enough to kill this guy. Fabulous hit. I don't want anyone to be set of uh, flame, so we're continuing with hitting him. Murphy. Picks the shotgun. Ideas, <laughs> pendejo. Fantastic. Didn't blow up, which is good. Murphy still moves in and Spotted. begins to mark this target. We're preparing. Okay, this fight is actually working very, very well in our favor. Good. The guy is blinded, which I assume will give him minuses on hitting us. But in the meantime, four, that's two plus six, that is enough to hit twice or three times because we do have the option to get an extra attack off. Yep, well, the extra attack missed. And we whiffed that other attack as well. Unfortunate. Good, Quan. Killed another one, and uh, Central is just going to take that over. Wow, that fight. The ambush was good. 
And we haven't taken a lot of damage whatsoever. These guys were nicely crowd controlled. I'm starting to get the hang of it. As I'm saying it, we're getting hit for the first time. Into the head. Once you mark them, they are very easy to hit. Lucia runs up. Can't mark again, but we could nitrogen tank. Let's start with Quan. Hits. Hits again. Hogbite could move in. Sentra moves into a good uh, position. Hits him very, very well. Ramos repositions for next round. I don't think there is going to be a next round to be pre uh, to be entirely fair. And Murphy gives a shot, but not successful. All right, which maybe there is a next round. Good. That guy does have demoralize and what's really demoralizing for them is they got killed by our animals. The robot chicken is missing. Did I miss something? Junk. A couple of smoke grenades. That's not bad. I like it. More smoke grenades. Uh, they are actually good. Medic. Heavy machine gun level 7, we got that already. Okay, so we do have smoke grenades. I like to think that that is good. Gotta need one healing. And I think we got quite a bit of level ups, right? So Lucia, for starters... Two, four, six. Hmm. She's okay on the uh, speed side. Awareness is fine. She's actually a good shot at the moment. I think we're just continuing with uh, mm, with coordination. Coordination seems very important. Survival, on the other hand, not so much. Got another perk for her. Energy damage is increased uh, by five, uh, 0 0.5 bonus damage for every point of armor the target has. That is good, because when she's using weird uh, weapons, that will be great. Charges the weapon, but that, nah, that is not good. That's not good at all. Uh, shotguns, she's not really using that. And shredding shot, she's not using that either. I think we're going into that weird science uh, thing. Uh, seems like a great trade for her. Uh, we got Quan leveled up, funnily enough. He's okay on speed. He's definitely okay on awareness. I think we're continuing with coordination here as well. I'm seeing a pattern in my builds. Mechanics would be a good upgrade. Um, sure. And then nerd stuff the next time. Good. As for Ramos. 
He's almost there so that he can shoot twice with his heavy gun. Strength definitely will help him a little bit later, just also for heavier armor. He does have a problem with speed, but <clears throat> oftentimes his range is good enough to compensate for it. We wanted big guns, almost a 10, almost there. But I think we're going with explosives and lockpicking instead because I'm ca I can already see five lockpicking is just barely cutting it. Barely. All right, Murphy. Um, got awareness, got intelligence. As you can imagine, we need more AP. He's quite starved in that regard. So this here would be four, which means we can now do sneaky shit and then we're going sniper rifles and continue with that. Good. And for perks, I definitely want sniper rifle perks. There are a couple of them. If you haven't moved, uh, increase your uh, hit chance. That's great. Precision strikes have uh, significantly high. That's, both of them are fantastic. But I think we're just, for starters, I want to hit all the time. So getting that plus 10% isn't bad at all. What's this here? Payeso ledger. Okay. Doesn't really do much. Weapon crate. Level 9 revolver with risky shot. Go for broken. Unreliable attack that has 70% crit chance. Ooh. I like it, so we still have that <clears throat> frozen ferret launcher, which gives her a range advantage. And the level 6 revolver is great because it bypasses all of uh, the ar um, armor that a target has. Uh, the revolver here isn't bad either. I wish we would have uh, three weapon slots. Hmm. I like the laser pistol, it's great. Damage versus robots and vehicles. You know what? Let's just double pistols for now. Medical care. Very good. And I still want to know where our chicken is. It must be somewhere. All right, mines detected. Level four. To disarm them. Be careful. Might be clowns in there. Uh oh. Hmm. Paye so bastard. Okay, there seems to be someone in there. That's for sure. Good. A couple of random enemies here. Let's start with you and suppressing fire because that will help us to make sure that these guys are not coming anywhere near us. All right, Quan <coughs> hits, almost kills, central. Q 
kills and let's continue to blind these guys fantastic Good, Lucia has a bit of a problem with uh, not getting close enough. Trick shot. Misses. And then we just have a normal attack. Correction, we don't even have that. Hogbite moves to here. And lays an ambush. Holy more of them But at least all of them are terrified What did I got myself into this here seems like an incredibly hostile area One moves up, heals his friend. And then uses penetrating shot to hit three of these guys. Okay, what well, we... <laughs> All right, flamethrower, not bad, but we don't have any talent skilled with it. So I suppose we're just going to reload. And then focus on a few of the enemies. Ramos deals damage, but couldn't quite get him down. Massive slash from Hogbite. Nice looking attack, but didn't do much. Continues to hit more and more. That's all he does, unfortunately. All right, Lucia. Trick shot. Mm. Yet again a miss. We can't 50-50 this. And why is our other weapon unloaded? That is stupid. There's the crit we were waiting for. Good job. Alright, central. Rallies everyone. Finishes one of these guys. Murphy. Kills one. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, headshot. And marking this target just for future reference. One deals just a tiny bit of damage, but not enough to get him down. Ah, and this guy survives. He's blinded, shredded. 
but he survives. Preparing for next turn, and that was a good idea. Oh my lord. We're moving to here because now it's Murphy's time to shine. Every single one of you gets a shotgun shot. You want to play rough? I show you rough. Fabulous. Good. Next up, more AOE damage. Big fat grenade. There you go. Central kills this guy. Then switches and Spray and pray takes too much, unfortunate. Unfortunately, for us, not enough to kill all of them. Uh, can't penetrating shot, but we can headshot. But before we do that, Hogbite goes to town, one. Two, three, with the fourth one. Too bad. Trick shot. No. None of them. Risky shot. Still none of them. Why exactly do we have uh, such bad aim here? One down. Miss. And almost another one down. Good. Ramos. Onto the arms. Crippled. Very good. We can't move away. Let's just defend. Okay, that's pretty minor damage, all things considered. Wow. Yeah, we used our abilities good. This episode actually has a couple of nice, uh, nice fights with uh, decent utilization of the abilities in it. Finally, Hogbite scores a kill. After reloading, we got a free shot, and we're continuing to just uh, get more shots. Murphy did w very well with uh, his little combination there. 315. That's good as well. These guys are very resistant to energy damage, it seems. Oh, no more ammunition. That's not good. No more ammunition as well. Are you kidding me?
barely made it out of uh, there. Okay, so for starters, we cannot let that happen. Um, which weapons are empty? Your weapons are full. Energy gun gone. What is this weapon uh, taking? Energy cells. Okay, well, they are gone now. Uh, 762 ammo gone. And. Oh, I do understand. 762 ammo also for the Bren gun. That's not good. Okay, I guess it's crafting time. 762 ammunition. Craft 250. I know, it's expensive, but what am I supposed to do? Energy cells cost even more. Reminder to myself, uh, we, if possible, do not want to shoot with energy cells as much. Uh, your standard weapon will be that. Congratulations. Okay, that's good enough for now. And I think we got a couple of level ups, right? No, not here. Not here either. But most certainly with Central, who finally gets more points into coordination. That's good. And I like his leadership. Let's get that up. We need to get all of the other stats up as well, but leadership has a very, very distinct combat um, utilization, and I like to use that in combat. Got a brawling weapon, which we don't need, and a another modification. Okay, cool. Don't tell me we're not done yet. We did so well. No way. A full house of these clowns. Okay, let's see. Nitrogen tank. Computer. You know what? I hate to do it. But I think this is a good point for another cliffhanger. We did well. Uh, that was a very fight-intensive mission. Next time we're continuing with taking the dentist office. We haven't even continued anything here. This is such a bizarre but equally fun uh, map to play through. So we're going to continue right here uh, the next time. For now, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, as always, if you don't want to be run down by a herd of these bizarre, gruesome monsters that are enraged and uh, are going to tear your frozen corpse apart, you better hit that like button, because that's the only way to stop them reliably. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.